In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to open a Cadillac STS key fob to replace the internal battery at home. Uh, now, some of you out there might have this device, uh, but a different version that has five buttons. As you can see, I have four, um, but I think some of them have this one button is actually two. It doesn't matter. They're the same device and the process to open them is the same and the battery is the same. So just follow along with me here and I promise we will get a new battery in your device in under five minutes. The only thing you will need is one CR2032 battery. If you'd like to pick one of those up online, I will leave a link down in the description that will take you over to Amazon where you can get the exact battery that you need for this device for just a couple of bucks. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested and then we can get right into it. So the first step is to hold down the button here on the front of the device and while you're holding that, pull out the internal key. Hold onto this key because we're going to use this to pry off this back section of plastic. So just insert the key back into the keyhole, uh, but just barely put it in there. You just wanna get on the inside of this little lip and then pry up, pry the back off a little bit until you hear that first click. So you can see I've started to open it up. I recommend that you stop prying now and you use something like a flathead screwdriver to finish this off. So you can go in the opening that you just made and you can twist and you can work your way down here, twisting, twisting. And once you got it all opened up, you can just pull it apart with your fingers. Now really quickly, I'm just going to show you what I was doing with the key here, just so you can get a better understanding of when you try to do it at home. Um, so when you put the key in all the way, it is locked in under this plastic housing. That's not what you want. You want to be just in enough that you can move this around and actually pry the back off. So in here is too far. You just want to be right on the lip there and pry this off. Hope that helps you. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for you to understand what I was doing there. So next step is pretty easy. We're just going to gently lift out this battery. You can just pull up on one of these little tabs and the battery will come out with this little metal component attached. So go ahead and push the battery out of there. Set this piece down um, and now dispose of your old battery. Take a new CR2032 battery. And uh, now you're just gonna pop it into this little metal component and you want this positive side with the text on it to be going down. So you'll just click it in there. You can see how it's all oriented there, positive side down. And now you're just going to drop it back into its housing. So obviously this little space, there's a circle and that little space is for this piece that juts out. So position it just like that and click it into place. And from here, we can just put the two halves back together. I suggest putting this on top of the half with the circuit board because the circuit board can actually fall out. And uh, then you'll just have to put it back in, take a little bit longer. So just set this on top. And once it's lined up, you just squeeze it all back together. Last step, you just put your internal key back in there and you are good to go. I hope that was helpful for you, and if it was, feel free to let me know by giving this video a like, or you can tell me down in the comment section. And if you ever need help with another one of your key fob devices, you can come back to this channel. We have video tutorials for pretty much every key fob from every maker model out there. And you can also get that information over at our website, fobbattery.com.